Hello, my name is Mrs Castro Martin and I am an assistant principal at Harris Academy Beckenham. I have overseen the transition from primary school to secondary school for a number of years and um, I'm very much looking forward to working with you year six and welcoming you as our year seven students starting in September 2020. This video is going to cover some key information that will prepare you for your transition so you know what to expect in terms of your lessons and how to make year seven a success and also share some top tips with you. In the video, I will touch upon a number of topics. However, after having watched the video and having looked at our welcome guide, which we shared with you previously, if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Um, the email address is transition at harrisbeckenham.org.uk. So please do get in touch if you still have questions after watching the video and reading the guide. And we'd love to hear from you. Um, so please don't hesitate to do so. So I'm going to first of all start by talking about the faculty structure at Harris Academy Beckenham. You may well be aware that we have got four different faculties. We have got the Scientific Arts Faculty, the Global Communications Faculty, the Creative Voices Faculty and our Enterprising Logics fac Faculty. When you join, you will be placed into one of these faculties. It doesn't mean you study more of that subject or we think that you have a particular ability in that area. It will be because your tutor likely teaches in that faculty area. To show you that you belong to that faculty, you will wear a tie with specific coloured stripes. So Creative Voices, you'll be wearing blue stripes. Scientific Arts, a green stripe. Global Communications, yellow stripe. And then last but not least, Enterprising Logics, you'll be wearing a red tie. We'll let you know what faculties you will be in before the end of um, July, and then you can uh, buy the correct colour tie. So within each faculty, the four that I've just mentioned, how does it actually work? So you will have an assistant principal, one per faculty, and then they will work with the subject coordinators and also subject leaders. There are also our teachers, many of whom will be our year seven form tutors. And then per faculty, we have a pastoral leader. I'm going to take some time now just to explain exactly what do I mean by a pastoral leader, for example, or explain to you about what to expect from your form tutor. So in terms of your form tutor, your form tutor is the first point of contact. They're responsible for delivering your tutor activities to you each morning in tutor time. They're responsible for checking that you're wearing the correct uniform and you've got the right equipment for learning each day. They will be checking your student planner to make sure that you are recording your homework and reading any notes from home from, to, from your teachers. And then also just they'll be monitoring your attendance and behaviour to make sure that you're attending lessons regularly so you can make the most of um, your learning opportunities. They also have an oversight on your academic progress and make sure that you're progressing as we hope that you would. Um, and in terms of when you see your tutor, it is every morning. So you will start the day by going to the playground where we line up, you'll line up with your tutor every morning for 8.25. And tutor time starts from line up at 8.25. Your tutor will then take you into your form room and then you'll stay with your form tutor until 8.55. Each day, you'll complete different activities. Currently, this is how the tutor time programme is organised. So, one of your days is a faculty assembly. That means everyone in your faculty, be it Creative Voices, Enterprising Logics or so forth, will go into the hall and have an assembly. There are two other days of dear time, drop everything and read. We have one day of non-fiction reading, and then we have finally Wellbeing Wednesdays, which is a programme which includes your uh, sex and relationships education, as well as focusing on current affairs and study skills. 
as well as your form tutor, another key person that I'm sure you will get to know is your pastoral leader. So your pastoral leader will be supporting your form tutor in making sure that your attendance, your, you are checking that you are all in and we're targeting you for support if we need to. Uh, punctuality, making sure you arrive on time and you've got the correct uniform and equipment. Um, they also help out in terms of um, being a, a listening ear for anyone who needs it, um, making sure that if there's any barriers to learning, maybe there's some friendship issues or maybe emotional needs, we, we all encounter them at some point in our life, that you've got someone to go and talk to. And maybe you might have some anxieties about coming to join secondary school, which is completely normal. Your pastoral leader is someone you could also talk to, as well as your form tutor. So, how does the actual day work? Quite often, this is a key question for our New Year 7s. So, let me talk you through a day. Every day starts with you lining up in the playground with your form tutor. You line up in the same place every day. Your coordinator will be there to say hello, as will your assistant principal. After line up, you will go to your form room with your tutor for tutor time. After tutor time, you will have four lessons every day, except you may well have noticed on Friday, you have three lessons. Each lesson will be a different subject and will be quite possibly in a different room, depending on what the arrangements will be for September. But under normal circumstances, it's in a different room. When you join us in September, we will give you a timetable that you can stick in your student planner. This will tell you what subject you have, along with the room number and the teacher's name. You'll also have a chance to tour the school before we start. So please don't worry about getting lost. You'll have time to familiarise yourself with the school and you can get to know what rooms you're going to be in. Plus, during the first couple of weeks, we all know what it's like to join a new school. So all the teachers and fellow students, year eight, year nine, year 10, year 11, year 12, year 13, will be more than happy to help any of you who've got a question. So please don't worry about that. So break time is always at 11.35 until 11.55. You can buy something from the canteen if you would like, or you could bring a snack in from home. Then you have another lesson, and then you'll have lunchtime at 1 p.m. Only year seven eat at 1 p.m., and the rest of the school come down at 1.15. So you'll have those 15 minutes to be in the canteen by yourself, and normally it's enough time for you to eat your food, and then you can go outside for some fresh air, or you can join one of the many enrichment clubs that are available to you. After lunch, you've got your final lesson and then you will finish at 3 p.m., meaning you would get to go home slightly earlier than the other students who finish a little bit later. That is our typical school day time. It might be a little bit different in September, and if, it, if that's the case, we'll be letting you know as soon as possible. An important element that I would like to talk to you about is attendance. We need to make you aware that we know attendance is crucial if you are to achieve your full potential. Students with poor attendance are less likely to gain passes in their GCSEs. For example, having attendance of 90% or less means you are more likely to achieve one grade less than you would have done had your attendance been above 90%. Poor attendance will have a serious impact on your, on your education, your work ethic and your life. Please make medical and dental appointments outside of school hours. If you are absent, because whilst we'll make every single effort we can to get into school, we know that there are some days where unavoidably we simply can't get in. But those days are very rare indeed. But if you are unable to come in, then the first day of absence procedure needs to be followed. Your parent or carer must contact us at the academy. You telephone the academy and you report the reason for the absence and you inform us of the return date. 
Hand in hand with attendance goes punctuality. All our students must be on site for lineup at 8.25 a.m. That's when we start our day. Poor punctuality can make for an unsatisfactory start to the day and it can contribute to underachievement. We will take action if, stud if students continuously fail to arrive on time for the academy day. It's really important that you will take responsibility for being on time. If there is a genuine reason for your late arrival, then please don't worry, but your, pa your parent and carer must telephone the academy and write you a note in your planner. Talking about planners, I want to talk to you about your student planner. You will each get given a student planner when you join us in September. We give every student one at the beginning of every acad academic year. It is organised by week. There is a double page spread for each week with a space for each day, as well as a space for your parent or carer, along with your right teacher to write notes. This is an essential item. Our students always must carry it and you must take care of it because you only get given one. What do you use the planner for? Why do we give it to you? You use it to record homework tasks, record awards, maintain an attendance record, record any possible reasons for absence, help support home and academy communication. Your parent can always write a note in that for your tutor and vice versa. Your parent or carer must check the planner at least once a week and sign it. They would be looking to make sure that you are writing in your homework to help you stay organised. So they do that by just checking that you are doing that and they write a little signature and your tutor will do the same the following week. My suggestion is to check the planner over the weekend so you, your parent can look back over the week this has gone, can sign it and then your tutor can check it the first day of, of, the, of the week after the, after the weekend. So, uniform. We are incredibly proud of how smart all our students look in their uniform. Each child is expected to wear a full academy uniform at all times. The details of this are on the website if you are unsure. Our suppliers are whereabouts in Sydenham. Your blazer, your tie, skirts, jumpers, which are optional, and PE kit must be purchased from the academy supplier. Shirts, blouses and trousers can be obtained from a retailer of your choice. As I mentioned before, we will let you know very soon what faculty your son, daughter, your son or daughter is in, and so you can there put, therefore purchase the correct colour tie depending on what faculty you are in. As well as wearing the correct uniform, we do expect our students to be organised for their learning. Now, again, I'll put this with a caveat that in terms of in September, we're not um, at the moment 100% sure in terms of arrangements. However, normally speaking, we do expect our students to demonstrate responsibility and commitment for their learning by having the correct equipment. This starts with having a black plain bag, by having the equipment, which includes having uh, black and blue pens, a ruler, a rubber, coloured pens, um, and mathematical equipment where necessary. Your planner that I've mentioned, and then you will also remember I mentioned for dear time, which is drop everything and read, you will read in form time. So you must every day have your reading book with you. You could get one from the school library, from a library local to you, or you could bring from home. But we very much value the um, reading and what it can bring to your life and how it can enrich you. So please make sure you remember to bring your book. Another query a lot of you often ask is about homework. You should expect to receive approximately 60 to 90 minutes of homework per evening. This is why we give you a planner. If you try and remember 
all the different homeworks that your teacher sets, pretty soon you'll start to forget and you'll start to fall behind. And that's not a nice feeling. So what you need to make sure you do is always have your planner, always write down your homework, including the date it is due. And if you have any questions about your homework, you must ask your teacher either in the lesson or you can go back and find them at lunchtime or break time. And it's very important you take responsibility for your homework. The library is open until 4.30 each day. So if you'd like to stay and complete homework, then you can. Moving on to how our cashless system works at Harris Academy Beckenham. Um, in year seven, as I've mentioned, lunch starts at 1 until 1.50 p.m. A range of hot and cold meals and snacks are available. You can purchase from the canteen using either your biometric information as your fingerprint, or if you'd prefer, you'll be given a unique pin. Further information about this and how to apply for free school meals is on the admissions data capture form. Please do visit our website and go to the transition page where you will find relevant information. One thing that is worth taking time just to speak to you briefly about is e-safety. So in terms of um, our recommendations to your parents is making sure that particularly, maybe they've been doing online learning at the moment, is making sure in terms of using cameras that they are used um, downstairs where adults are about, um, or in a room whereby they can be seen and they should never have a camera in their bedroom and they you can also ensure your parental controls are in place on your network at home um, and that time spent online is limited in the welcome guide that we shared with you we did link uh, to some useful websites so please do take a look on that because it has appropriate information for students aged 11 to 13 which will be the brackets that your children will be entering into. In terms of on site, we have a very clear policy. And the reason why we have it very clearly is because we want our students to understand where they stand and so to speak. If phones or are seen or heard, they are confiscated and will only be returned to a parent. A lot of our students may come to school with their phone, but a lot of them are all in the habit of turning off their phone, not putting it on silent, but turning off their phone, putting it in their pocket, and then not receiving it out of their pocket until they go home. And that's because they know the phone policy and they know that we are very clear on what will happen if it is seen or heard. So please remember, if you bring your phone to school, turn it off before you get into the gate. So, a minute ago, I just talked a little bit more to parents on e-safety, but there's, there's one key thing I want to say to parents is, first of all, thank you very much for taking the time to watch through this video, and we do really appreciate that. Um, a strong partnership between us at Harris County Beckenham and you, the parents, is a key part of our philosophy, and it is crucial in terms of ensuring that our students are happy, safe, and successful. We value the relationships that we have with our parents, Harris, Kevin, Beckenham. We ask you to sign the Home Academy Agreement, um, which is contained in the planner. And also, we very much believe in maintaining positive channels of communication. Um, so please do contact us if any mobile numbers or email addresses are no longer relevant. And please provide us with more your up to date details. Finally, on, on this note of working with parents, we do warmly invite our new Year 7 parents and carers to attend our Friends at Beckenham meetings. These are held once a half term and we discuss an array of issues um, that parents would like to discuss and, discuss and find out more information. With regard to SEN support, we have different layers of support depending on the different SEN needs that our students have. You'll see that uh, we do have a universal approach 
which means that we can adapt our teaching in a way that makes it accessible to all our students, including those with SEN or without SEN, to make sure that they can access the learning. We also have targeted support, and then we also have specialist support, such so those students who require additional support with one-to-one -one paired or small group work uh, with our in-house speech and language therapist, who is also specialist knowledge of our of literary difficulties. And we also use our speech and language therapist to help deliver training to our teachers as well. If you do have any questions um, or queries about SEN, um, you can reach our SENCO or our learning support officer. Um, the details about this is on the website. Um, but also, if you've got any concerns relating to your child's learning, uh, the first um, point of contact would be the form tutor um, to discuss them. And this may also result in a referral to the Academy SEN team if needed. At Harris Academy Beckenham, you will have the opportunity to try your hand at a whole range of different activities. We have got enrichment clubs running before school, during lunchtime and after school. We've got the keyboard club, we've got the Duke of Edinburgh, we've got MFL Spelling Bee, we've got the dance club, we've got the history magazine club, we've got chess club, library club, LGBT plus club, an array of different clubs for you to join. This is great because not only may you develop a new skill or find a new hobby, you may also meet some new friends. And if you're joining and you're worried about meeting friends, please don't be worried about, about meeting friends. You will soon find some new ones. And by going to some of these enrichment clubs, you'll find some new ones who are interested in the same things as you. In September, we often have an enrichment fair whereby we invite you into the sports hall where you can try your hand at the different enrichment activities that we will be running. So please look out for the enrichments fair and for the details so you can start attending and learning a whole array of new things. So, as it stands, um, a lot of you will be very eager to find out what's happening in terms of September. We have recently received the government advice and guidance, therefore we're busy planning what September will, be look, like, will look like. At the moment, the first day for Year 7 is scheduled for Thursday the 3rd of September. Normally we have a day whereby only Year 7 and Year 12 are invited on site. However, we may need to review this, um, but we will be in contact as soon as we have finalised the details so that you can be prepared for what to expect in September. So, what next? I did mention about contacting us at the email address, but please do refer to the newsletters, the website, the virtual tour, the student guide, the transition activity booklet, which will be coming out shortly, and also we'll be sharing a faculty introduction so you can put some names to faces and get to know who your assistant principal will be, who your form tutor will be, who your pastoral leader will be, so you can start learning some names. Another one I want to draw your attention to is BBC Web Bite Size. And there's a useful page on BBC Bite Size all about starting school. And it has an array of short videos with other students either explaining things that they were worried about and what the reality was like, teachers talking about what life is like at secondary school and lots of tips and advice. So please do check out the BBC Bite Size website for some useful resources. So as I've mentioned, please do get in touch if you have any further questions. And then we are hoping to publish a frequently asked question sheet using any frequently asked questions that we are gathering from you. So thank you very much for taking the time to listen to the video today. We do hope it was useful, um, but stay in touch. Take care. We look forward to seeing you in September.